Hey guys, it's Remix, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Iridescent server. And today, we're gonna be kind of chilling out, we're gonna be doing some work at the house, we're gonna look around and spawn for a little bit here, with the amazing, amazing, majestic cactus, bow down to the cactus. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're just gonna take a look around and spawn here really quick, just to see what's going on, what people are doing. I know there's two shops over there that we haven't checked out yet. But yeah, Jen has moved, well not really moved out of spawn, really, because she's like, right there but <laughs> her stuff was right here but now she's in this giant majestic cactus that I pranked but I lost the footage too so I'm gonna link that in the description again because it, it was in the last video too but I'm gonna put it there again in case you guys wanna see her reaction to it because it was pretty funny <laughs> and she says she's gonna keep it for a while which is cool and this place is this place is like snazzy look at this you can just go all the way up here and then suicide yourself down here <laughs> no, no, I went down here and I landed. I I wasn't all the way up, but up. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I jumped off here and I landed right in the middle there without even thinking, and I was down to like one and a half hearts just because I don't know. I think I was listening to music or listening to a podcast or something, and I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, this place has an awesome view of spawn too. It's really nice. So let's just jump down because that's the best part of this. Woo! <laughs> Alright, let's get out here, and we're going to check out the shops really quick before we head back to the base. That was weird. So not much has changed over here. This over here is fantastic. That's another thing Jen did for the dragon video because she forgot to record it. I'm going to show you guys this because this is hilarious, and you need to watch it. I don't know which episode it was, but I'll probably find it. <laughs> it was so hilarious. She built this. Oh, that's the sign. She built this and then fought it, and this is all of us, and it was funny she like acted it out it was the best anyway let's get to what this episode is going to be about kind of for the first part at least we're going to take a quick look around spawn see what's going on um i'm actually going to go up here because i need to show you guys what i built in town hall actually a while ago now and i haven't really shown you it at all so we're going to come in here as you know we got the nice blue beacon and the dragon egg in here we got little message boards here which is nice we got the little courtroom in here courtroom sort of thing so that's all nice and then in the side rooms here this is kind of just rooms for show but above here is actually the room that I built I'm not, I want to see if someone built over here yet actually no they haven't okay someone needs to build a room in here I don't know what it would be but you, someone should do something but yeah over here I actually built an enchanting room so it's very it's okay it's not like the most extraordinary thing in the world but I think it's pretty good just both tables go up to level 30 and then there's some stuff here I actually didn't put this here someone this was just a chest but you can put these in to check what the enchantment's gonna be so that's that's pretty cool then oh someone took my oh let me read this oh it's just a renamed book <laughs> but yeah I put a free pickaxe in here a while ago I guess someone took it that's nice cool it was like an efficiency 3 unbreaking 3 or something not sure who took it, but hope you're enjoying it. Probably upgraded it by now. But, yeah, let's take a look at the shops that are behind Town Hall here. We got the chicken farm that I believe Falconic built. That's been there for a while now. We got the farms here. And then back here, I'm not sure if I've actually shown even the fountain on camera. And it was built a while ago. And you can see the awesome beacon. And we need to finish... Whoa. It turns off when I look up. But yeah, we need to finish the glass roof there because Town Hall actually caught on fire last week. And we were able to uh, to put it out in time. It was just like a tiny little section of it. But yeah, we need to get that glass roof finished up there. And now that efficiency is fixed on shovels and stuff, we'll be able to get sand and stuff a lot quicker. So we got this fountain here that Creator built. It's a very it's a nice little nice little quaint fountain, you know, just a little relaxing fountain to look at and listen to. Yeah, it's relaxing. And then in here, we got Falconics, Falconics, <laughs> Falconics Coffee Shop here. Um, I don't remember if I've shown this already, but I think he's done some upgrades if I have shown it. Uh, we got a nice, vibrant carpet here. And then he sells potions here, and it's actually pretty good priced. So I think it's six potions for one diamond, and then three stacks of cocoa beans for three gold. So that's pretty... Wait. Two stacks of cocoa beans for three gold. All right. Those are actually pretty good prices, especially for potions. I would definitely pay one diamond for six potions. So that's really cool. Yeah, I like the design of this building. It's pretty nice. It's like a, it's like a mix between modern and sort of log cabin-esque-ish. I don't know. I'm just using words to sound smart. Um, <laughs> and here we got Steven. I believe he worked on this in his last episode, so I think it's okay 
if I show it. But um, yeah, so he started working on this in his last episode. And uh, it says do not enter, but I kind of want to see where he's got to go. Ooh, I like the floor. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I bet this might look better. <laughs> uh, this might look better in default, actually, but just because I don't have textures for these blocks. But yeah, I don't want to switch to default because I like my texture pack. But yeah, this looks really cool, even in even in the texture pack. And I hope the guy upgrades the texture pack soon because it hasn't been upgraded since June. So that would be nice. But let's see. Anything else we want to check out here? Let's go over here. I still need to work on these pathways going here very soon, but we got this hill over here terraform. Not we. I think Sneer did that, actually. Or it might not have been Sneer. I think someone else might have done it. I don't really remember. But yeah, we need to get the... We need to get the path coming around this way. And then we're still contemplating if we want a bridge going across here, because it might mess up, like, the scenery here. But it would be nice to have a way to get over there. But, um, I don't think we're gonna do it. But it was just sort of an idea that we had. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head back to the base and we are gonna start working on some tedious, yet interesting, yes, much needed work. So, I'll see you guys there. You know guys, now that I'm up here, I actually haven't checked out the minigames area. Because I think Falconic has been working on a King the Ladder thing. And I actually wanna check this out. I'm not sure how far away it is, but... Oh, it might be pretty far. But yeah, what we wanted, what we're trying to do is we want. We were originally gonna have some mini games that spawn, but we decided to make a separate sort of uh, like Goodland esque area where we can just put a bunch of games. And I'm, I've been thinking of stuff that I can build there, but I haven't thought of anything yet. Falcon kind of took the easy one, or not the easy one, but he took the obvious one of King of the Ladder because that's kind of a must on a server. Here, let's see. Oh, is this it right here? Oh, is this the dragon area? This looks like the area where the stronghold is. But it's probably not. But this is a cool area. I like this. But holy. <laughs> Jeez. That's a lot of stuff. Why do you have carpets right there? That's strange. Hey, no. You stay. This is kind of cool. It looks like, I think, I'm not sure if he's going all the way down to bedrock or what. But, yeah, that's already pretty deep. That would probably be fine. If you just built up to like one one twenty eight or something, where are we right now? Yeah, if you just went from the bottom to one twenty eight and just put some stuff at the bottom there, that would actually be fine. This is really cool. I'm actually excited to play this and get some people together. Go away, zombie! What's back here? Oh, we got forest fire. That's fine. <laughs> All right, um, let's go back to the base now for reals, for realsies, <laughs> and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we have made it back to the base here, and whoop. <laughs> We are going to be doing, like I said, some sort of tedious but very much needed work here at the base. So, if I show you back here, you know we're going to put windows on the back wall here. But, what use is windows if you have this ugly hill here, right? I mean, what are you going to see? Like, you can see down there, I guess. That's just trees. But, we're going to be getting rid of this hill today. I'm going to show you some of the work I've already done on it. I've taken off about three layers of it. I was online this morning. I don't know where that carpet went. Crap. <laughs> but I took some layers off of it this morning. I think I took three or four off of it. But yeah, if you see from up here, it's actually going to be clearing out a lot of space. So we're going to go down to about that level right there. I think that's where the house is at. But yeah, we're just going to be, or not really we are, but I am going to be taking out this entire hill here. I would ask for some help, but no one's really online, and this really isn't that much compared to other stuff that we've done. And um, I have some amazing, like, just plans for this place. Like, you know the little waterfall over here? I'll show you really quick. If I can just get over there. We have a little waterfall over here, and I've been thinking of making a better source of it instead of just coming out of the side of the mountain. Oh, why is this door open? That's weird. But that waterfall right there, it comes out of just a random hole right there in a little cave. And I'm thinking that I can make it go down. Here, let me try to show you. Try to explain it. But this lava little... <laughs> this lava little pool here. This little lava pool here, the, what used to be a lava pool. I've been thinking of making that waterfall go down into more of a river and come through here. Because this is probably going to be an, an actual bridge here. But I'm not sure yet. I might make it come off of like right there instead. But um, I'll figure that out later. But we could have a river going down here and then coming down into this area and making a cave that can come over here all the way down under the mountain and we can make it like a um, something like what the ice tunnel was going to be on the last map but it would come out right here maybe even just start a waterfall right here and have this kind of be a cove area that would be really really cool 
just like make a little hole and make a little cave that there's a waterfall in. This will be like a little cove. That's not the right word, but a little place where the waterfall comes down and usually is all the white mist and stuff. And that could come down and follow all of these little water ponds here. Let me get up on the roof so you can see them. But it kind of it's kind of already naturally laying out a path that we could follow with the little ponds. They're like little points that we could try to meet with the river if we decide to make it, which we probably will because I've never really done anything like that. Yeah, you see here, there's one, and then there's another one, there's another one. So that would be cool to follow those and come off of this point here. So it would just kind of wind down. And we can maybe do something with this area. That would be cool. Let's try to get the village thing again, like we were going to on the last map, and maybe actually do it this time. That would be cool to actually get villagers here, too. I've never done something like that, making a village or something. But, anyways, I'm going to do some work on this, probably for a good half hour, maybe an hour. Maybe get this entire thing finished, and then I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so after almost an hour of digging this hill out, we are finally finished and is ready to be worked with, I guess. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to head back to spawn and we're going to end off the episode because this did take up a lot of time. And so yeah, I'll see you guys at spawn so we can finish this up. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I hope everyone has a fantastic day. I hope everyone has a great evening, day, or rest of the day, whatever it is. But thank you guys so much for watching the episode, and I will see you next time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time.